going to show you uh, autonomous, continuous voice recognition as being performed by Google uh, automatically in the background. And then I'm going to add one more element. Because this device has an accelerometer, I'm going to turn this feature on not by pressing a single button. I'm going to take the device, I'm going to bring it to my ear, and the device will recognize, the Google software will recognize that I'm ready to speak, and I'll ask it a question. So, uh, how about I do something like, pictures of famous, always dangerous to do a demo. Let's try that again. All right, I'm going to try that again. And just so you know I'm not cheating, I'm going to put this thing back down. You will see that it's in its restored state. And I'm going to try that one more time. Pictures of cathedrals in Spain. Now, that's a, did you notice in the top there? Pictures of cathedrals in Spain. It correctly recognized what I said and got it right there. Pretty fantastic. It's unlikely. It's unlikely that you would type in something that long. But even on short queries, let me try another one. I'm feeling bold. Let's, let's try a, a simple one like, uh, I don't know, let's try weather. Weather. Notice how fast that recognized. And something very subtle. Note where it's reporting weather. It knows I'm in Barcelona and correctly surfaces the correct weather. So if I land in the UK tonight and ask for weather or movie times or pizza or whatever I ask for, the combination of continuous autonomous voice recognition, the, the accelerometer in the phone, the automatic use of location really provides a magical experience. And we think that it is the combination of these things that will deliver a great user experience. So let me, let me sum up here.